Hey Aries, I hope you all have been doing well. Um, this is going to be your October reading. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to connect with your energy. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for continuing to support my channel. Um, thank you for liking and commenting on my, on my videos. And if you're interested, if you feel I resonated and you're interested in the extended reading where I um, tap into your person's feelings, how they're feeling about everything, um, you can uh, see all the information for that in the description box below. Um, and remember guys, I always do bonus reads. Um, I do two bonus reads at the end of the month for the sign who got the most views the most likes um, and the most interacted with so um, remember that <laughs> okay all right let's see aries for the month of october Gemini just had that. Are you guys dealing with a Gemini, Aries? Or maybe do you guys have Gemini in your chart? The fox energy. So your person is coming up as the fox. And that's how Gemini came up. Gemini came up as the fox. So your person may be being very reserved, very hesitant. Because they feel like maybe you're deceiving them or you're lying to them about something, Aries. Um... They're definitely keeping their eyes open, paying attention. They're trying to look beneath the surface when it comes to you, Aries. Oh, you guys have the chameleon energy. So... You guys are very, and at this time, you guys are being incognito, like, you know, not wanting to be seen, uh, remaining mysterious, um, being very versatile, you know, uh, maybe you guys feel a little overwhelmed, could be overwhelmed emotionally, overwhelmed, um, like, you know, with work or whatever you guys do, like what you do for work, you could be feeling overwhelmed with that. That fox is funny because the way that these cards are laid out, <laughs> look, look at how they're looking at each other. Look, the fox is looking at the at the chameleon and the chameleon is looking back at the fox like, uh, am I going to get away with this? <laughs> you know, like, am I going to get away with this? At least that's the energy that it looked, that it looked like. All right. Then we have mutual energy is the dragon Let's see, the dragon energy. This is your mutual energy with this person. Dripping with ancient magic and wisdom, this mythical creature transcends challenges and offers you valor, bravery, and courage in the face of the unknown. The dragon is the guardian of your hidden treasures and invites you to dive deeper into the secret map of who you are on a soul level. What hidden desires are you keeping locked up? Although doing so keeps them safe from harm, it would be a disservice to hide your passions and gifts from others. Let them roar. Ignite the way to your personal truth, no matter who or what stands in your way. On this quest, use the alchemical elements of air, fire, water, and earth to aid you. Dragon medicine is dynamic. It can provide metaphysical knowledge to move through space, protection from evil forces, and the wingspan to keep flying beyond the stratosphere. Let yourself be known as the dragon guides you to your limitless potential. So I feel, I strongly feel like both of you guys are on the verge of some sort of new beginning. This could be new beginning uh, as a couple, 
or new beginning just as individuals. Maybe both of you guys are working on something as individuals, you know, like working on a creative project, um, working on something like a side hustle, you know, but both of you guys are feeling that energy of creativity and making sure that you get to reach your goals in life. But I feel like you guys are being very mysterious at this time, Aries. And your person may just be feeling like you're trying to deceive them. You're trying to pull one over on them. Let's see. Oh, we have the snake. Competition, enemy, the other woman. Look over your shoulder. So someone could be feeling jealous over you, Aries, or over your relationship, over this person, over your relationship with this person. Someone definitely does not have your best interest at heart. Um, could be a friend, could be a family member, someone. Someone is definitely not who they say they are. You have the shock card, sudden change, shocking news, surprise epiphany, and transformation. So there's going to be some sort of unexpected event that takes place. Even could be a, a change, some, some sort of transformation. You have grounding, stability, security, performance, growth, and endurance. So you guys could be wanting to be grounded at this time. Maybe you guys were once super emotional or like emotionally unstable. Um, and now you're realizing that and you're wanting to remain grounded, you know, remain stable. Um, you have seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up, date, third party, and temptation. Is someone trying to tempt you, Aries? And you have hammer. Sabotage, rebuild, persistent, working on it, and repairing. Someone could be trying to tempt you. Um, I'm not sure who that who that is, but looks like someone is wanting to come in and fuck shit up. <laughs> you know, you have the snake, you have seduction. Those are not the best cards, right? Third party, temptation, hooking up, date. Or maybe you have someone who views you as some sort of temptation, you know. Someone who wants who wants to hook up with you, Aries, you know, wants a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of situation. <sighs> All right, let's see. Aries. The five of wands, the nine of wands, the ten of swords, the four of cups, and the seven of cups. Hmm. Overall energy is the Two of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Wow, that's crazy because um, Gemini had that same um, card as the overall energy, even though they had the Hangman, but they also had the Eight of Wands. You guys could have Gemini in your chart, all right? All right, Aries, so. <sighs> Let's see. I feel like there's a lot of people vying for your attention, to be honest with you, Aries. There's a lot of different suitors, a lot of people who want your attention. Um, but I feel like you're feeling you're feeling like you just have to put something to an end, you know? Um, but then there's there's like another energy here of either many options in love. And not feeling satisfied with the options that you're getting. Or someone is just like really thinking about what life can be with you, Aries. After you went through some sort of an ending. Some sort of like betrayal. Some sort of backstabbing. Um, someone may even feel like they have a lot of competition like in order to talk to you there's a lot of people who want your attention so it's like they don't know how to move forward how to approach you because they feel like you got a lot of attention but i see you guys trying to listen to your intuition um you guys might be wanting to travel 
Um, you have Sagittarius energy here, Aries. Someone views you as, you know, taking like time to make up your mind to make a decision. And it, it, it makes them very attracted to you. Wow, you're showing up in your own reading. You have the emperor in the bottom of the deck. You remaining calm, remaining reserved, remaining, you know, just focused on uh, some sort of business um, endeavor. It's like it makes them that much more attracted to you because they feel like you're very mysterious. They don't know, you know, they don't know what choice you're going to make. You have the Knight of Pentacles clarifying. Ten of Swords again. What is going on with you guys, Aries? Did someone betray you? Did someone backstab you? With the Page of Cups, was it a water sign? Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Oops. The King of Swords. Or an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um... So yeah, this person that's looking to approach you, Aries, they're coming in super slowly. <laughs> Very slowly because they want to outstand, they want to stand out from the crowd. They want to make sure that they're not going to be fighting over you. Like, you know, they want to come in correct, come to you correctly. With the five of pentacles this could be someone who you left out in the cold could be a cancer because the chariot is on the bottom of the deck so we could be talking about a cancer who you left out in the cold or who left you out in the cold and now they're wanting to come back in um the knight of wands hmm what's with these you have a lot of knights coming in a lot of um movement you know but the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles those are the polar opposite one is super fast and the other is super slow so you have the justice card and the knight of swords wow another knight who moves very fast <laughs> um maybe someone is wanting to move things with you you know too too quickly and you're just like, you know, I can't, we can't, like, I don't want to do this fast like that. I'm not trying to move so fast. You know, that's where, that's when things don't go right. The devil, oh no. I feel like someone, um, hmm. Someone is like hesitant because they're scared that they're going to deal with the same cycles that they dealt with you in the past or this is how you're feeling scared of repeating cycles with someone someone who maybe was um you know an on and off relationship that was very in, uh, unstable a relationship that you felt was you know really unstable and you're scared you're you're nervous you don't know like you know do I do I take this offer with this person or do I just start new? You know, do I just end this once and for all and move on? The Ten of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. The Four of Pentacles on the bottom. Do you feel like you've um, hurt this Queen of Pentacles? Like maybe did you, did you, do you feel like you betrayed them or you, um, you made some sort of choice or you made, you did something that has you feel, feeling a little guilty or not even a little guilty, just has you feeling guilty at this time when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone you were in a committed relationship with. Um four of cups and maybe you feel like if you try to offer them something they're not going to take your offer remember energy could be flipped vice versa this could be you or them all right you guys could even be feeling like you know like questioning yourself like wait a minute have i really changed you know 
are things going to be different if I if we try to do this, you know, me and this person, if we try to do this again? But with the with this snake and seduction and shock, all these energies, it's like, I don't know, Aries, I don't know who's the one who's been hiding, you know, certain things from the other person, but it never really works, just so you know. It never really works. Because it always comes out at some point. The Page of Swords now. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. The Reader. <laughs> and the Empress on the bottom. This could be someone who um, gets a lot of readings on you, Aries. Or you could be getting readings done for um, on this person. Um... Or that your person may be a tarot reader. That's funny that card came out. The reader. It's like they're trying to get information. Or you're trying to get information on them. The sun. The sun clarifying the four of cups. The temperance on the bottom and the wheel of fortune. Heavy Sagittarius energy here, guys. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just choosing to remain patient and let the divine, you know, do what it has to do. You guys are not trying to rush anything. You're just waiting on divine timing. You know, when the time is right, everything will fall where it may, you know. Um... the sun and the five of cups is there some sort of truth that's gonna come out leo energy is here too i forgot to say that um some sort of truth maybe um maybe this person feels like rejecting you or you feel like rejecting them um is not like it doesn't make you happy you know, like you don't want to be left out in the cold. Neither does this person. Like you guys are happy together. And both of you guys are like, you know, like I'd rather be with my Aries, <laughs> you know. Like that does bring me some kind of happiness, being with my Aries. And this person is looking at it like, damn, like, you know, did I make a mistake? Like. Or not so much like that I make a mistake, but more like missing you, you know, like they, they, they miss you. They miss your energy. They miss being around you. The Eight of Swords. You guys could be stuck in your head because being that you don't know where this situation is going to go with this person that you were in a relationship with, it's like, do I like move on to other options do i talk to other people or do i just remain stuck <laughs> do i just remain here in my head like what do i do you guys are mentally stuck right now not knowing like what path to take what to do because you guys definitely don't want to make the wrong choice that's the thing the tower uh oh the tower with the seven of swords and the ten of pentacles on the bottom hmm what i would say is like be careful that you don't remain in this stuck energy for too long because you don't want your desires to get away from you you know what I'm saying? If you want this person... Oh, I forgot. We have Capricorn energy here too. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn energy. Strong here. Okay? An earlier um, Cancer was trying to come out. 
So if you don't, I feel like if you remain in this stuck energy, Aries, this person is going to get away from you and it's going to cause a tower moment. Something that you were not expecting to happen, you know. Um, so just make sure that you don't take too long in thinking about what you should do. The, choice that, the choices that you should make. You have the seven of swords on the bottom of that deck with the ten of pentacles. So that could be either you holding information away from this person, like not telling them everything. Um, that could be someone trying to get away with some sort of sneaky behavior when it comes to your money. Or that could be you trying to get away with something sneaky when it comes to your money or someone's money. <laughs> um, hmm. We have patience, slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. And then you have key. No beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. All right. Well, and remember, Aries, I see this snake card here. So I feel like there's someone in your midst, someone around you, who doesn't have your best interest at heart, who is very envious of you, Aries. So please keep your eyes wide open, okay? Don't let people trick you. Don't let people deceive you. Because someone may be trying to deceive you, okay? Please be careful and do not give in to temptation. I know that things may be confusing right now. You may not know, you know, exactly what road you're going to travel through. You may not know what's gonna, what the future holds, what's going to happen. But just remain true to yourself, uphold your integrity, and, you know, ask for guidance you know ask for guidance so that you don't make the wrong choice because i feel like you guys are on a very tricky path like any little wrong move you make could lead to total destruction <laughs> so just please be careful be careful aries and be patient with yourself okay Maybe you guys feel lonely, you know, and you guys want to like go out, whatever the case is. And then you have some sort of temptation that comes around and you make the wrong choice and then everything goes to shit. So just be careful. Okay. And make sure that you're listening to your intuition. All right, Aries. So that's what I have for you guys for the month of October. Um, if you guys are interested in the extended, that'll be down below in the description box. Thank you guys for being here with me. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you. Um, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Bye-bye.